at least we're able now to have uh, you know the, the refrigerator going, the freezer going, and uh, we have the uh, the TV going as well. <laughs> the two most important the things. The two most important things, right? The force of Hurricane Irene ripped this tree from its roots, and the tree knocked out power lines and power for this entire block. It was the same scene and story we saw all day. Lipa has hundreds of thousands of customers still in the dark. And those without power are being creative, passing the time bonding with their neighbors. Melissa Vellini and her family feel fortunate, even though this is their reality. We're thankful that it didn't actually go through our home. But at the same time, it's, you know, it's stressful because we have no power. The whole neighborhood has no power. But like you said, it's just a tree, a few wires. It could have been worse. We have two small children. Um, somebody could have gotten hurt, killed. So we're very thankful that the tree fell the way it did. Lipa says it will try and get all of its customers back with power by Friday. But of course, Lipo will focus on places like.